It's oh. like, oh, but play whatever you want to play. But three and start. Huh. Start. That's the music do do that. Mm-hmm. 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 You a rapper? Yeah. Yeah. Stop, Stop playing. playing. Yeah. And the singer? And the singer. And the Yeah. We, we, we do every Stop genre of music, playing. brother. Stop playing. We do every genre, brother. Every genre. All right. And that, that's something that, that we can use. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he, you definitely got to come through before next, before he leaves. Next, next, next Wednesday. Yes. I mean, before any day from now to like next Wednesday, let me know when you're free and we'll, we'll talk and chat. Can you get it? You got a phone there and get his number? Oh, you get his tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't touch with him. You yeah. touch with me. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. You got Facebook? My number's free to public. You got Facebook? I use, I use Instagram a little bit more. All right. Well, let me get, uh, I'll get to connect with you on Instagram and stuff. Because I want to, like, send you some uh, stuff. So I'll do it. You know, I want to text it to you. Mm-hmm. Message. You got messages or something like that? What's it called? Messenger. Yeah, 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 okay. You got uh, yeah. so we can use Messenger. Let me friend you on Facebook. I'll use Messenger and I'll get you the messages and stuff like that. Mm-hmm, through that. Especially about the music, brother. Oh, yeah, so we do every gym. I've been doing music since I was, I was born a writer, a poet. And then, so, like, rapping and poetry, I write movies, I write stories, I write comedies. We're going to a comedy too. We're shooting it starting next month, the end of next month. But yeah. we have comedy meetings every set every Sunday, the last Sunday of the month. And we do develop maybe write scripts and all that, so that's dope too. But uh I can involve you in multiple things, man, that will help promote your help promote what you're doing in your business. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Yeah. So to be like Daniel, so, thank you. Uh, and you the nice might be a little bit hard out. to see me with the headlight on, y'all. Mm-hmm. But it's a little it's a little bright, maybe it's something from the side on that. What's your name again, brother? My name's Antoine Gray. Antoine Gray, tattoo artist. Mm. How long you been doing tattoos? Airbrush artist. Air, okay, airbrush. Professional percussionist. Okay. Painter. Get out. Okay. Rapper. Awesome. How long you been doing tattoos? Well, how long you been doing everything? Uh, what's that? Like follower. We love our neighbors. We love ourselves. Yes. Yes. Okay. There we go. Be in line. There you go. Love, you know, God is love, love is God. Amen. And, that, and that, that's my, uh, yeah, that, that's, we'll, we'll get into that later. This is your day right here. So, how long have you been doing tattoos? I've been doing it for about 21 years. 21 years. Yeah, I started out drawing on people in high school with jelly pencils. You remember the jelly pencils? Yeah, yeah, back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe my sister got a draw picture on them and then go to school the next day. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Been, been on ever since. Like from scratch, you know how you know how to make it. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, okay. We made it like we made it like almost like penitentiary style. Got gotcha. you. But we weren't in the penitentiary. So how old were you then when you started? I mean, you don't got to count fifteen. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So it just well, did we you. Made, I guess I could say we made the first mm-hmm. machine at fourteen, but I didn't really like start actually tattooing and dabbling until like sixteen. Mm-hmm. So. So you're basically like a creator, so that that explains a lot why you're into tattoos and could do tattoos. And yeah, and I, um, I never had the apprenticeship. Uh huh. So I taught myself how to do it. A lot of trial, a lot of trial and error when you're a little misguided and yes, yeah, that young. Uh huh. You know what I mean? I was never something with my own, so I had a little bit too much freedom. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I ended up tattooing like my whole self. Oh, okay. I did my whole left arm for like a year. And Got you. On your arm, but you just did it yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the one that's just learned off of me. And then, yeah, man. I've been running around doing it ever since. Yes, yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. Well, I graduated from running around to more stationary now. Yeah. Okay. 
phone was doing a tattoo there everywhere you went. Who's that? Basically, that that's that's over here. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. And I'm supposed to be taking my kids to the hospital. Okay. They're, uh, that's dope. Yeah. They're, uh, they're talking about everybody needs to draw. Mm hmm. And there's nine of them. All of them need to draw? Yep. Everybody needs to draw. That's dope. That's dope. I can't wait to get some work done by your brother. So, alright, whenever you come through, and I'll show you my. Um, I got it like sketched out the ideas, and I'm not no artist, but I got a, a basic format of what I wanted on each more more parts and stuff like that. I came with it. That's gonna be two hours right there. Have you ever did somebody back before, like a whole back or something like that? Cause I see what you did with Dope with Anthony. You know all these tattoos are, are nice. You know I thought you got them all done at a shop, but you are a professional. You know a professional at what you do, so that's why I look so good on him. Yes, sir. Talk about all of everything. Like the machine, uh, the machine you start, the machine you first started with was self-made using your frame made it. So, yeah. like, what what's the kind of machines you have used through your career? I've used them all. All around four, five hundred dollar machine. Mm -hmm. I was still big, clunky, and like heavy on the head. Yes. Versus some lighter stuff that's already coming out. It's like a little bit more cheaply made, but. Uh -huh. So what are you using right now? Like, what's that? The, uh, yeah, 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 sorry. I've used the um, teacher's of equipment and the most expensive. Okay. Really not, I mean, it is the equipment a little bit, but it's mm -hmm. really about the artist and craftsmanship. Gotcha. That's the kind of stuff. So what kind of tattoo gun are you using now? Do you have my reaction? So this is a mask. It's a uh, rotary. Mm-hmm. Over time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I called the uh, called the company to get them to get like the place. Yeah. They said they wanted the best out of the Oh, okay. Considering it's it's from China. So. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I just went back in mm -hmm. my, my old power days and got gotcha. one of the greatest professors ever. Oh, okay. And, uh, we move this out the way. Like, like, what's the power station? What, what are you talking about? Where's it at? This guy right here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I remember Dobo was telling me you did so many tattoos. So in your career, how many tattoos you did from your start? You said hundreds, thousands, maybe? Definitely from thousands. Especially when I was working on the top track. Uh-huh. Uh, there would be days where you could get like 10 tattoos done. Yes. And then every day where you just sit there just drawing. Mm -hmm. Nobody even tell nobody to come in. Yes. Man, so that's like a lot of experience. Man. That's a hell of a lot. So does that use Number for tattoo artists, or that's just like because you were doing depends, so much work. It depends on like location or or really you know how many people you know to network. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. I work off of referrals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you might 
get a lot of money. Should, though. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Through Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. they pretty good. Yeah, social media is powerful. Social media definitely is powerful. I know from personal experience, when you get on your phone number to the public, all kinds of crazy stuff can happen. People can call, prank, kids, whatever. Yeah. Like most they, of the time, mm-hmm. like, people be pretty curious about it. Mm-hmm. Especially, like, if you ask them for a picture of the phone. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, if they give you that, then good morning. Yes, yeah. Most likely the board. Mm-hmm. So what kind of tax do you get, Daniel? What kind of historian? Daniel Humphrey? What's up? Uh, getting a tattoo of the hump, which represents life. You know, on the top is the woman, on the hump, and on the bottom is the man that gives that two creating ingredients makes life. So that's what I'm getting. A representation. It's like the cross mm-hmm. from Egyptian times. You know, where black people used to ring at the time. Mm-hmm. It's a tremendous. So you say that that, that predates the cross? Yeah. Predates, yeah, definitely, right? Black history mm-hmm. is finest. Yeah. I wonder if there any that predate that. You gotta check that out to see that. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, that predate, like, ancient, ancient times. I wonder what they got. I'm curious about that. Well, it used to be called cement, but, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you know, when the Greeks took over, they called it Egypt. Yeah. So, you know, I like to call it by its original. Yeah. And we, we you know, the oldest Bible found in history is in Ethiopia. Yeah. And the oldest church, actually. And Ethiopia was, was in uh, Kemet. Yes, yes. They was, right. they was together. Mm-hmm. And I actually met some historians that I think they're down there actually think that they actually went to that. Um, I don't think mean, they call it a church, they call it something different. But they actually went down there and worshiped. So I, I'm going to be out can't wait to be down there seeing it myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long is something like this right here usually take you, bro? Uh, it takes about an hour and two hours. Everything is different? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It depends on um, detail and color. color. Yeah. One guy had, uh, out of a whole career, 
but you could just see it. That was the first time I ever saw that in my life. Only, only in Florida. But I'm sure it happened in other places, but that was the first time I seen it. And then they had like, uh, back then that was like the eight, the early 80s, or no, it was the 90s, that was in the military. So I had like this big, you know, thin ropes back then and all. Um, it was like a severe thunderstorm. And it, it was crazy. This little kid was like, yo, take that chain off. Take your chain off. Yes. Yeah, I was like, what you mean? I was like, look at he was crazy. He's like, no, it'll hit you. The lightning will hit that chain. And it was like, you know, like crazy. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I never seen lightning like that. Yeah, that seems like crazy lightning or something. I was on the beach. Uh-huh. And that's, uh, shit, I was kind of on the way. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah.
but you can still get around through games, you know, and it was so cheap. I was like, well, I can save money here. You know, so that that is was attractive to me. And it's a great. I came back and just suck ever since. Uh-huh. Sometimes like I think I want to live in Florida. Maybe mm-hmm. not. Maybe I just want to, I don't know. Visit? Visit, live, live, live. Yeah. Visit. Mm-hmm. So you like traveling then? I like. Gold, 
now people learn how to make it. Yeah, but it, it, it comes Which from the start. makes it value as yeah. real gold comes from the start. Yeah, everything. Well, everything comes from the start. Yeah, so they got a uh, water, like, all that. They said melanin has gold in it, and if gold means star, you know, in a way, too, if you look it up, too, it said melanin is worth more than gold. Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. It helps. It helps, it helps with the UV radiation. No, I'm, I'm going to tell oh, you how I, how I know it. I know for a fact. Yes, you can. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I mean, I know it for a fact. I met a lady who worked transporting organs. And she told me about the whole thing of the black market. And she was telling me about Pittsburgh. She came to Pittsburgh a lot to drive Uber and all that. So she came to Pittsburgh often. And she was telling me, like, the increased rate in missing kids across America and in these slums and ghettos. They've been harvesting organs. And taking they, they keep they try to keep them alive for about seven days. But she said a lot of these missing kids are not missing from regular kidnapping. There are people out here harvesting the organs of black kids and they skin and the melody that they're making cream, soaps, shampoos, eating it, take I mean anything you think of, they're taking them organs. And I, I got a number. Yeah, yeah, I got a number. I'm saying, man. Yeah, shit is a billion dollar. Yeah, she said it's a billion dollar, a billion dollar industry, black market industry. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Lying and great evil. Believe me, that's why I'm going to history to find the truth, even if it takes me forever, bro. Yeah. Oh, we gonna have great conversations. I'm going down. So when you come I'm over, you know, they do a big thing. Christopher Columbus was the biggest live show, and they still do a holiday on that big ass line. Yes. You know, so that's mm -hmm. the show. That's the race for their people, though. Yes. Because of what they're from here. They're having a million times over with all the races. Mm -hmm. And we've all done it across the whole planet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. about the That's right. Because we what finally I started to be like, man, oh, shit's <laughs> dumb. You gotta be, you gotta be on my brother, bro. I ain't gonna lie.